going on everybody welcome back to gemini manga um today we're just going to do a quick little reading log of everything that i read for the month we are going to just do like a quick synopsis of everything kind of like either my first impressions if i keep reading things like that um so yeah first we have drifting dragons book one this is also a netflix show it's either coming out or already out um i am going to continue reading this i really enjoyed it it's about a crew who is on a ship actually one of the last dragon hunting ships in this universe and what they end up doing is hunting dragons and they use dragons for like oil clothing food everything and it's about this character named micah or mika who is a guy who's just loves eating dragons and doing things like that and just their adventures it's really really like just simple and chill so far so i really enjoy it it's like a good little breath of fresh air um and i'm really enjoying it and i'm actually curious to see how the anime is as well so i'll be watching that at some point next we have the heroic legend of arslan if you haven't seen my let's talk about it first video series um i highly recommend go watching that this book is amazing i'm definitely going to keep continuing to read this this was created by the same creator who made full metal alchemist and i am just loving this story next we have yu yu Hakusho volumes one through five um really great series uh i'm loving it i've actually uh I've never seen the full anime. Could never get past episode one. Yeah, I can never get past episode one. However, I am loving the manga. It's really, really great, really good. I am enjoying it a bunch. Um, Yusuke is a trip. <laughs> like, I love him so much. He's a delinquent who ends up going out of his way to save a kid. Um, who's going to get hit by a car, ends up dying, and the story ends up just becoming his adventures while he's dead so far. And then he's able to come back to life as well and has to do some like detective work, for lack of better words, um, as a spirit detective. So it's really, really good. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, top tier shonen it's about the same person who made hunter hunter and that was in my top five manga of all time so this might take it it might take it but right now it's it's up there it's good i enjoy it and i have the com complete series so i'll be reading that later as well next we have demon slayer volume 21 right now we are in kind of towards the end of the series. I believe there's two more books after this and I am, I'm, I'm feeling it so far. It hasn't made any mistakes in my opinion yet, um, but it does seem like it's kind of being rushed, but I'm just, I'm loving the series. I love the anime, the movie was great as well. Um, so yeah, we have Demon Slayer. Next, we have Jujutsu Kaisen book nine. Um, this was a banger, <laughs> okay? This was a banger. Uh, my boy Gojo, a banger. You see how he becomes the strongest Jujutsu Sorcerer, um, along with some cursed users and how one of the main villains in the anime ends up becoming a cursed user. And it is good. Like this arc of discovering Marigum's father, um, Gojo finding his self and everything like it's, it's really, really good. Um, and now I even feel for the villain, of course. So I'm not sure Gojo is my favorite character in the show so far. I got a sucker for people with white hair, but this villain is, uh, he's up there and I like him a lot. Next we have the Promised Neverland, book 19. Um, I was telling a lot of people, don't read the, I'm sorry, don't watch the anime, season two is trash. Season one is amazing, by all means, go watch that, support that. But season two is trash, don't read this. Um, don't watch that. 
an accurate description to me reading this. I opened this book up. It's like, okay, okay, like we get it, we got it, we got it. Um, and then I hit this page right here, and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get it. I'm stressed the fuck out. Next, we have book one of Solo Leveling. This isn't most more so a manga as it is a comic. It was a webtoon, I believe, and they made it into a book. Uh, it gives uh, Isekai vibes, if I'm saying that right. Isekai? Isekai? Isekai. Um, but it's pretty good so far. Um, the world that people live in, they're called hunters and they are ranked from S to E level, I believe. And right now the main character is an E level hunter, um, gets beat up in every fight, dies in every fight, or comes close to death, I should say, in every fight. Um, they end, he goes on missions constantly because he gets enough money in order to help his sister go to college and his mother is sick. Um, typical anime-ish Japan type things. They end up going into this dungeon and come to find out this dungeon was the strongest dungeon out here, apparently. Left and right. Niggas getting fucked up. I'm, uh, <laughs> I I couldn't keep up. It, it was wild. It was crazy, but it was good. And I like that. Um, so I'm super excited to see book two. I really hate reading things online or on my phone like most people do. I'm just curious to see how this goes. Um, and of course I gotta wait for it to be in print because like I said, I prefer to read things physically. I just enjoy that. So yeah, lastly this month, lastly this month we have Ikiyami the Ultimate. I mentioned this in my, uh, what was that? In my Arslan video that I really, really enjoy detective anime and things like that. Um, it's just up my sleeve. I kind of want to blame my mother, uh, we used to be watching Snapped and everything else. So I'm addicted to stuff like that. And this is kind of right up its alley. Um, so what ends up happening is that the world is kind of dystopian and you, before you even hit first grade, everyone is, takes a shot. And that shot protects you from viruses and diseases that you could possibly get later on in the future. But what happens is every thousand, how do you, how do you say this? For one person for every thousand ends up getting uh, this like nano chip in the shot. So what happens is that nano chip goes to your heart and between the ages of 18 and 25, you are randomly, you're, you're gonna randomly die um, at any point of time during those, those ages. And the, it's random. No one's guaranteed to die. You don't know who's gonna die. No one knows who, if they're gonna die, but everyone gets a shot and that's what ends up happening. So you're randomly selected to die. And this is the story about a detective who ends up being one of the lucky ones for lack of better words and not having the nano chip. His job is to go and to the deliver the Ikiyami. And on that Ikiyami is just pretty much a death certificate card saying that, hey, you're gonna die within these 24 hours. Um, the two people, it's been two stories so far about two people who are die and neither one of them deserve death. They're just living their normal lives and it's truly heart-wrenching to see, you know, these people are randomly selected to die and that's just how it's gonna be. Now the government does pay the family a bereavement, a lump sum of money for unfortunately being that selected person to die. However, if the person does commit a crime within their 24 hours, then the bereavement is taken away and the family has to pay for the crime. And what most likely ends up happening is that the family is so ostracized when their family member has committed that crime during their last 24 hours that they end up leaving town and hiding from the government. Well, the first story was about a guy who did commit a crime 
um, but he was like tortured in high school and he just got revenge on those people and he knew he was gonna die anyway so he figured might as well and he apologized to his family. They didn't know why, but he he honestly truly didn't deserve to die and it hurts. Like it hurts. This story is about preserving your life and loving life and living life to the fullest. And he was just getting ready to get over his trauma and you know live his life to the best of his ability and then he gets to eat yami and he has to die so it sucks that he has to go through that and you know he he snapped uh, the other character he you know he ends up not snapping but it just sucks that these people had to die and they were just randomly selected and it's all planned out of what's going to happen and everything so it's really interesting to see and i have the complete series of this as well it's really interesting to see how it's going to go and what it's going to do um and the main character is very he, he's questioning if this is the correct way that people should be living or should everyone just be able to live their life and die when they're ready to die natural causes or whatever the case may be instead of kind of forcing the world into this certain way of living um so i'm super excited to read that as well the same thing as arsenal i'm probably going to like binge them pretty soon along with jutsu other uh, jujutsu uh along with yu yu Hakusho. um so yeah so those are my readings for the month uh by all means tell me if there's any recommendations that you recommend if there is anything that you want me to watch let me know uh leave a comment leave a like share the video i greatly appreciate it and uh thanks for watching thanks for your time everybody okay,